Hello everyone, welcome to the Azure Virtual Desktop Session 02. In this video, we will try to understand the components and working of AVD, or we could say glimpse of architecture. Why glimpse? Because in order to understand architecture piece by piece, we should have the understanding of each and every components and their working. So, well, don't worry, detailed architecture and traffic flow and a lot more, we will cover in upcoming videos. We have to go step by step. So this is to make the base strong. So in this video, we are going to understand the working and the components. Let's suppose uh, we have some clients here uh, accessing through laptop or maybe through a mobile phone. Okay. And they're trying to access their uh, virtualized desktop that they have access to. Well, now, before we mention the components which are there, which makes this AVD AVD. <laughs> Let's see what is the purpose of the request, the request that they are making from mobile phone or from, from laptop or from tablet, doesn't mean, doesn't matter like what device, but they are requesting, right? And the purpose of the request is to access the desktop that they have access to, uh, which in AVD terms called session host. That's why I have created this Azure subscription. Inside the Azure subscription, let's suppose we have these virtual machines running. And if the virtual machine running in the AVD, we call it session host. And session host could be of two types, personal, like everyone has a single user has its own desktop, nobody else is accessing on it, or it could be pulled one, like it is distributed. Anyone can access like multi-session like five, 10, 15 users can access a single uh, a desktop, okay? We will discuss about the session host in detail in upcoming video, but just for this uh, understanding purpose, these are the VMs. These are actually the VMs which are created in AVD as a session host and created through the customized image. And this is the purpose of the request from browser or the mobile phone to access their personalized desktop. But if they could, then it simply means they're accessing virtual machine, but it's not that simple, right? We are talking AVD and accessing session host means some other components in between. So what are those components? Well, to be honest, nothing new. If you're coming from this technology, uh, RDS or Citrix or any other BDI, it is, it is quite similar. And since we are doing a Microsoft, so it is similar to Windows Remote Desktop Service, which means components like web access, components like uh, gateway, what else, broker, and diagnostics because it's an event aggregator pattern. And then we have other components or we can call it a extensibility component. Okay. So these are some components in between the user and their session host, which actually creates it ABD or makes it a wonderful technology like Azure Virtual Desktop. Now let's try to understand what are these components and how to, how to spin these and manage these because we know from our past experience, as I mentioned, that dealing with these components is not an easy task. And these are the components which actually 
uh, makes remote work possible. All right, so let's try to understand these one by one. Web access, as the name says, access. Web access lets users access virtual desktop and remote apps, of course, after authentication. And you can secure uh, web access using multi-factor authentication in Azure Active Directory. Okay, so this is all about providing the access. Then we have another component called gateway or remote connection gateway service. What it does, this connects remote user, remote user, these are the remote users, remote users to virtual desktop apps or desktops, okay? This will do the connection, this will do the authentication or access, okay? Now, we do have other components. Well, it, it, the gateway doesn't work that simple, like they come to the gateway and gateway connects it. There are other things involved that we will cover in upcoming video, which required a detailed video because it makes the reverse connection. Remote users do not go to the session host but it makes the reverse connection, outbound connection. That's why ABD is also most secure. We'll cover that later. For now, this is just for the understanding how things are actually working. Then we have a broker or connection broker. The connection broker service manages user connections to virtual desktop and remote apps. As the name says broker, that simply means it is going to uh, take care of who needs who needs to land on which session host or load balancing or reconnection of the existing sessions those kind of stuff then we have diagnostics which is uh, because it's an event based uh, aggregator that marks each user or admin action on abd deployment as a success or failure admins can query the event aggregation to identify failing components, hence the diagnostics, which is there. And the extensibility components like PowerShell or REST APIs or third-party tools, you can manage your ABD with the help of those. And these are there. Now, I'm pretty sure, wow, these are overwhelming. But the good thing, you know what? Well, the good thing is it is a managed service that we described in the first video, which means all these components are managed by Microsoft. That is the sound of relaxation. Because if you're managing these components, it would be uh, painful. Trust me, it is. Now, all these are managed by Microsoft because it is a pass service. So let me put it down here. Pass service managed by MS. Now it is easy because everything is managed by these. The pain point is managed by the Microsoft and now request goes here and as per the configuration, request can go to personal or pooled. Depends what kind of uh, uh, ABD setup we have, okay? Now, these all are managed by Microsoft as we just completed and understood. So what are we managing? Well, that's an important question, I'm pretty sure. So let's go piece by piece session host. That means we are managing custom image because these virtual machines are created by the custom image. Custom image, which is running on the virtual machine. So we are managing these virtual machine, maybe automated, but it is there. What we need to create the virtual machine? Well, we need virtual network. So we are managing the virtual network. We talked about authentication on the web access. That means we are managing Azure AD or 
if it is in hybrid, then Azure AD and Windows AD, or it could be Azure AD domain services, pass service, pass Windows AD. So in a nutshell, these are all, these all components are managed by Microsoft that makes it pass service. And all these components, rest of the components are managed by us, which includes virtual machine, virtual network, custom image, uh, custom applications, we need storage account, uh, we, need, uh, we need Azure AD, and yeah, that's it. So I hope uh, this will make some uh, understanding in your mind so that we can start digging deeper in upcoming videos. Well, thank you for watching and you guys